Yeah, and one of the things we've 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 always been passionate about is is saying no to steroids around this area, and particularly blind steroids or any steroids around the area, just because of the sort of um, the effect they can have on the tendon itself. Um, I know you've treated elbows; they've not necessarily been they've been basically been mismanaged by other health professionals, and these people come to you as a last hope. How does that feel to you? Like, how, I mean, I'll get frustrated. I get super frustrated when I see people having injections around the elbow. Uh, the issue is that when someone has had uh, three injections in the elbow, the issue is that as already there, there are, there, you most likely if you do an ultrasound or an MRI scan, you will find partial tears in the tendons and you'll find calcifications in the tendon. Therefore, they make an, an already difficult situation almost irreversible, you know. So uh, in that case, you know, again, you need to take a step back and again, offer an operative treatment to the patients, which I all, always do. You always need to offer the, the patients all the available treatments. In my, in, in, in my practice, I offer them physiotherapy. I offer them PRP injections. I offer them operation. I yep. give them the facts and allow, I allow them to decide based on, on their requirements. For example, if someone wants immediate relief, I can tell them that the goal for sort of telling cellular surgical release will give them relief within two to three weeks post-operatively. They will already start feeling better. Yep. Uh, but then it's a more invasive method with potential complications, you know.